All right, everybody give it up for Jackson. Nice. So, you know, this story is very motivational and it's very inspirational. And you guys saw, you know, that this had an impact on Jackson right away. And I'm going to pull this picture up just here right now so you can see it. But basically, Jackson is going to remember this moment and this day for the rest of his life. That motorcycle group that really made him feel special. They gave him this jacket with his name on it. They gave him this motorcycle helmet. So he will never forget that moment in his life. And I wanted to show you this for a couple other reasons, right? Despite all this kindness coming back to Jackson, the very next day at school, they were still a boy being mean, still making fun of his face. And as soon as this boy said this awful comment, just like the mom said in the video, five boys stepped forward and said, that's not how you treat people at our school anymore. That's not going to work for us. And as soon as they stood up for what was right and stood up for Jackson, he's been accepted and respected ever since, right? And look, it's so important that for people that have no voice or a small voice, that maybe we stand up for them too in those moments and help be their voice because we all have that power to really make a difference. But I also showed you this video because all these people that sent these videos of positivity and kindness and love to Jackson, some were from Michigan, some were from Kentucky, some were from Florida, some were from New York. This is, these are thousands of miles away from where Jackson lives, where these people live that sent him these videos. So they may never meet him in real life. They still did this because it was the right thing to do and because this meant so much to him. And you know, what's crazy to think about is that, especially with so much of what we're doing today in this assembly and in our world today is online and virtual, you can really touch someone's heart through your computer screen, through your iPad screen, through your phone screen, right? We can all do that with the power of technology if we choose to. And this has to start in our hearts. If everybody just closes their eyes for a second. Just close your eyes for a second. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and point to yourself. Close your eyes and point to yourself. Close your eyes and point to yourself. Most of you, usually nine out of 10 people, are pointing right here, which is what? Your heart. And sometimes that's the only thing people remember you for or want to remember you for is your heart. But only if you're doing things to really lift people up higher than yourself, right? That's the kind of people that we want to remember. And this means that we also have to choose love. Everybody say, choose love. Choose love. There's a story of this kindergartner, this, this five-year-old girl, and she was at an assembly. And she is listening to this speaker, and he's saying that love is as big as this world. It's as big as this earth. But it's also in all of our hearts. So she's confused. So after the assembly gets over, she runs up to the speaker and says, Sir, sir, I don't understand. You said love is as big as this planet as big as the world but it's also in all of our hearts so doesn't that mean that it's trying to burst out and he said that's exactly the point but only if you let it only if you choose that to accept to include to be compassionate right to really choose that love and in a world where you can be anything like we said before you have to be kind usually when i'm in person in an assembly after i get done speaking some students want to share their heart with me some of you did last year and I usually have a line of about 10 or 20 students that want to talk to me. And this one assembly that I was speaking at, this first grader came up to me. She's a second grader now. And by the way, second graders, that's the peace grade. Second grade, right? But she came up to me after and said, Mr. Peace, I have to tell you something. I said, yeah, what's up? She said, Mr. Peace, I'm kind to everybody. I said, well, thank you. That's, that's great. She said, you know what, Mr. Peace? I think I was born kind. <laughs> and I kind of had to laugh inside a little bit because we're all born kind. All of us are born nice. We have to learn to hate. We have to learn violence. We have to learn to be mean. But we can all unlearn that too, right? We can always choose to be kind. And that's really what this world needs is more kindness. I'm going to show you one last video before we talk about how you can connect with me and close with a wrap, of course. But this is my favorite video of all time. And I've seen this so many times, and every time I watch it, I see something new. But what I want you to pay attention to in this video is this act of kindness. You're going to see it go from person to person to person to person, right? So really look at the different acts of kindness that you're going to see. But also pay attention to the diversity that you see. There's going to be a lot of differences, right? There are going to be some people that are older, some that are younger, maybe different skin color, people that have money or don't have money. So really pay attention to that. But also pay attention to people's reactions, 
How did they receive this kindness? How did they give this kindness? And then we're going to talk about all that, okay? Take a watch. Mr. Sims, if you can play that. Thanks so much. <laughs> 